So let's put the flight planning with regards to drift down in practice. The uh, dispatcher or someone who's planning the flight is going to be responsible to find the critical point and determine if drift down is a factor for this flight or not. So if it did lose an engine, how low is it going to end up going before it hits the terrain? Hopefully it doesn't hit the terrain, but we have to first determine how high that terrain really is, our critical point along the flight path. So if we take a look at this flight plans example, right here you've got the mora shown. So that would be our minimum off route altitude, our grid mora shown. And then you find the highest critical point along the way. So here it is. It's down here and it shows us that it's 16,800 feet. Uh, with our drift down chart then, you can take a look, and this is for an Embraer 120, and you can see here, for this airplane, if we look at our chart, the weight is shown down here in pounds. And we look at the weight, so for this flight, apparently it's at 24,000 pounds this day. If we look at the temperature of zero degrees, reading up this line here, we can then read over and we notice that the airplane is going to level off at a pressure altitude of looks like right around 16,800 feet. From the previous slide you could see that is going to be a problem because it is going to level off right at about where that critical point is of the terrain. So at this point you have a choice how you can comply, um, identify an alternate that the airplane could go to if it had an engine failure change the routing so it doesn't go over that high of terrain, maybe reduce the weight. If we had a lighter weight, looking at this chart, we can see that, let's say we were at 22,000 pounds, and we go up to the same line of the same temperature used here. We go over, and we can see, wow, okay, the airplane would level off 19,000 feet instead of 16,500 feet. So those are just examples of what the dispatcher can do um, to, to comply with that. What the crew is going to have is a drift down chart like this in the, in the flight deck. So they can take a look at this if the engine fails in flight, figure out where the airplane is going to end up leveling off and use that to determine their route. Because obviously this happens unexpectedly while you're cruising along. Uh, so in summary, we basically have to determine, the dispatcher or someone has to determine what the maximum altitude of the airplane is going to be with one engine failed. Make sure what the obstacle, whatever it is that's along that flight path, is not going to be in the way. Oftentimes this is totally done by the flight planning software. It really doesn't require a lot of intervention from the dispatcher, typically. Here's an example of what it looks like on the flight plan. It's going to have something saying that it's in compliance with drift down, for example. So here we have a note that says that the grid mora check has been performed, one engine out drift down, and it has passed. And so for the airline where this flight release came from, it's basically saying that there's no need for the dispatcher to look at anything because this route is probably has such low terrain that it's not going to be a factor for the airplane for that day. Um, if this note said something more like that a manual check was required, then the dispatcher would have to go through the procedure we just looked at, looking for the highest mora along the route, the highest obstacle, figuring out where the airplane is going to end up in its, its drift down if it does lose an engine, and then determining how to be in compliance with the drift down requirements that we've just seen here.